Please distinguish the input and output end of the power management module. Loosen the screw of the terminal. Connect the black wire of the switch to the earth interface of the input end on the power management module. Find the red wire next to the end letter on the switch and connect it to the end interface of the input end on the module. This is the NOT wire for the AC input. Connect the remaining red wire on the switch to the L interface of the input end. This is the LIV wire for the AC input. Please note again that the earth wire, neutral wire and LIV wire between the switch and the power management module must be correctly connected when wiring. Don't make a mistake. Tighten the screws on the terminal. Loosen the screws on the output terminal. Connect the black single wire to the earth interface of the output end. Connect the yellow single wire to the end interface of the output end. This is the neutral wire of the power management module for the AC output. Connect the red single wire to the L interface of the output end. This is the live wire of the power management module for the AC output. Emphasize again that the wiring must correspond to the color interface. Later, the earth wire, neutral wire and live wire will be distinguished according to the color of the wire. Tighten the screws on the terminal. Double check that the wiring is correct. Loosen the screws on the green terminal. Pick out the three yellow, green and blue wires in the switch. Pass the yellow, green and blue wires through the triangular hole on the back of the power box. Then connect the yellow, green and blue wires to the green terminal on the power management module. Note which interface each wire connects to. Yellow, green, blue wire from left to right. Check again whether the wiring is correct. Next find the three pin black wire. One end of the wire has a yellow P label. Pass the unlabeled end of the cable through the triangular hole on the back of the power box and insert it into the signal interface on the power management module. Tidy up the cables a little. Insert the power management module into the box with the input end facing the inside of the box. Note that the power management module needs to be fixed in the slot inside the box to prevent this module from shaking in the box. Adjust the direction of the switch and clamp it into the box and fasten with screws. Arrange the output cables of the power management module and embed them in the groove of the box. Close the cover of the box. Please insert the edge of this module into the slot of the cover. Then fix the cover with screws.
Get it done. Fix the power box to the frame with T-nuts. It is necessary to pay attention to the position change of the T-nut when it is fixed. When tightening the T-nut, please make sure that the T-nut is driven from horizontal to vertical and stuck in the groove of the aluminum profile. Only in this way can the box be effectively fixed on the profile. Loosen all the screws of the power interface. And connect the red wire of the board power to the V+. Connect the black wire to the V. Then fix the power supply base to the Z-axis profile with T-nuts. Note that when the power supply base is assembled on the profile, the arrow of the lightning icon should point down. The power base should not be fixed too high or too low. Pick out the red and black wires in the switch. Pass it from under the power base. Then connect the red wire to the V plus of the power supply. Connect the black wire to the V of the power supply. Pass the connected cable of board power from the top of the power supply base. Then pass the three red, yellow and black wires of the power box from the bottom of the power base. Connect the black wire to the earth interface of the power supply. Connect the yellow wire to the N interface. Connect the red wire to the L interface. Finally, Tighten the screws of the terminal. Double check that the wiring is correct. Stretch the cables. Plug the power supply into the power base. Snap the fixing block to the top of the power supply and fix it on the Z-axis profile. When locking the T-nut, make sure the T-nut is rotated 90 degrees, effectively stuck in the groove of the aluminum profile. Finally, check whether the power supply is stably fixed. Simply organize and classify of cables. Perfect.
Thread the screws fixing board into the bottom plate. Align the panel and board interface. Snap the panel onto the board. Then assemble the board to the bottom plate. And fix with nylon cushion. Align the mounting holes on the board. Then assemble the remaining screws fixing board. A round column needs to be placed between the board and the USB link module. Then fix it with a shorter nylon cushion. Fix the drag chain of heat bed to the base plate. Please distinguish the direction of the drag chain according to the interface type of the wire in the drag chain. The interface type of the wire at the end of the drag chain fixed on the bottom plate should be needle type. The other end should be fork type. Connect the 2-pin wire to the hotbed sensor interface on the board. Then connect the 2-pin red and black wire to the blue hotbed interface on the board. Pay attention to distinguish the color of the cable red positive and black negative. Secure the bottom plate to the frame with T-nuts.
Be careful when tightening the T-nut. Need to make sure the T-nut is rotated 90 degrees in the profile slot. Effectively snaps into the profile slot. Put the printed part on the outlet end of the long drag chain. The drag chain should be inserted from the end with a small hole on the side of the print. Insert the energy chain into the energy chain base on the side of the frame and fasten with screws. Get it done.